so it's uh, a bit, bit of time since I've done a video. Weather's been absolutely terrible, absolutely terrible. I've had loads of things on with work and other bits and pieces. So first time I've had a chance to come out, decent day, um, sun's really bright. I've come out to Ramshaw Rocks, uh, just above Leak in Staffordshire. Um, I was watching a video on YouTube the other night, um, like called Gadget John. Uh, if you're into van camping, have a look at his channel, it's really good. Uh, and he did a, an overnight stay, uh, and I thought, recognise those rocks. So I looked it up on Google, found out where it was, and thought I'd have a ride out of it today. So what we're going to do, have a walk up, and I've scoped it out already. There is a nice view up there, so I'm going to just go up. I've just got one shot really in mind. Might do another couple on the way back down, but we'll see how we go. Okay, so that's the first glimpse of the shot that we're going to do today. We've got nice sky detail, some white fluffy clouds in the background. It's the rocks in the front. It's grit stone. It's been pushed up through the strata. Um, continental shells colliding and all that lot. All have bent it up. And then over eons of time, the rock has come through. Um, deforestation will have taken place. And now we've got this view we've got in front of us. So now I've got my breath back. I'm going to uh, go a little bit further. We'll get the shot. really warm today after yesterday an event yesterday and it absolutely hammered down and today well we've got all this bright sunshine quite warm so we're nearly there now got a bilberries just off on sides coming through in undergrowth Get some fantastic views from up here. When we get to the top of this bit, I'll just turn it round and you can see. You can see right across to the Welsh Mountains. It's fantastic, absolutely fantastic. Oh, so there we go. That's the shot. Okay, so just before I set this up, I'm just going to do a 360 for you. So we've got the view behind me there, as we come round, as we come round here now, just watch as I start to come in. We've got the Welsh Hills over in the background, just behind me there. And then we've got the rock formations, we're coming round. And if you're not dizzy, we're back where we started. So let me get it set up.
so it's really difficult to see that screen there um, the sun's behind me so I'll talk you through what I'm going to be doing what I've done I've composed the shot basically to what you see there that's roughly what you're going to see on the the image I'll put it up in a bit anyway um, I focused about a third of the way in we're on my usual um, f11 and the ISO set on low on this camera so that's going to be 100 and I've got all the levels and everything all leveled off so I'm going to take the shot and then what I'll do when I get back in Lightroom I'll put it up for you okay so that's the shot what we're looking at we've got the little tree in front just for a bit of foreground interest got the path which is using as a leading line and then the uh, the rock formations itself and part way up nearly at the top you can just see a little green tree breaking the uh, silhouette and that's mimicking or mirroring the shot down here so that's it we got the shot one nice clean simple image I'm gonna make my way back now so we're uh, in Lightroom now uh, I've got the image that I took up on screen um, it's pretty decent as it is but what I'm going to do to start with is just the crop now I think this one will be better if we go to something like a about a 16.9 uh, and what we can do is move the image up and down now these clouds that we've got at the top here I don't want to cut through them so I'm going to come down till I've just got a little bit of space above and here we've got the path now leading up as a leading line up towards the uh, the rocks so I'm quite happy with that so click on done and that's the image that we're going to be looking at so if we go into the basics tab and we have a look we can see up here that we're not clipping anything but let's see if we can get as much range as we can so go into just this until we just see the little flicker of the blacks on screen there and I'll do the same with the highlights with the whites and just pull them up until we see a little bit of white coming in just there and back it out so that gives me maximum between the blacks which is in here and the whites the edge of the clouds uh, I'm going to pull the highlights down a tiny little bit and that just gives me a bit of definition up in that cloud there now let's have a look at the tone curve here we've got the um, the tone curves here so what I can do is if I move the shadow down you'll see it darkens all those shadow areas around here get a little bit stronger and then the highlights I'm just going to tweak those a tiny little bit see how the blue sort of jumps at you around this area and there are the rocks and then the darks let's have a look see if anything happens with that now I want to leave that more or less as it is it's only very very slight change on that one so I'm quite happy with that uh, if we go down to this HSL the sky were really deep blue so if we go down to luminance that's the brightness of the image and I can adjust each individual color so sky's blue so if I just take that down a little bit see how that pops and then these greens that's around here I just want them to come up now what I can do is if I click onto that there and go over you should see as I move that on the right hand side the different colors are highlighting down at the bottom so there we've got the green so if I lift the green up watch those greens get a little bit brighter just about there so what's that path that's an orange so let's drop the orange down a tiny little bit and that path goes from being really bright there we just take the edge off so yeah quite happy with that saturation this one here just makes the colors deeper so if I go to the blue let's make that blue sky just a little bit bluer there we go that's more like it okay so I'm happy with that so what I can do now is just collapse that down and go back up to the basics and then down here for a little bit of clarity that just boosts the contrast watch this what do you want to move it 
boom, it just pops. All the rocks around there just suddenly came alive. And the D haze, what that does, it just darkens the shadows area just to take that haze that you see when you when you're looking through a long distance shot. So if you look in that area, I'm just highlighting to the right of the tree. If I move that D haze slightly left, it goes a bit milky. If I come up, then it gets a little bit better. So we've got quite a lot of quite a lot more definition in it there. So I'm quite happy with that. And let's just shut that down. Uh, I'm gonna go to a black screen can take every all the distractions out and there I think that that actually looks pretty good to me so I think I'm gonna stick with that I'm gonna put that uh, back onto the uh, the vlog and you can have a look at it uh, it's been a bit of a short shortish video anyway um, but I thought that might be of interest to you so if it is if you've enjoyed it think about subscribing share it with somebody hit the bell so you get notifications give it a thumbs up like and share it on your social medias so um, I'll see you in the next one